Farming has been at the heart of human civilization for thousands of years. But today, agriculture is evolving in fascinating ways. So, which is better, the time-tested traditional farming or the innovative vertical farming? Stick around as we compare productivity, costs, and sustainability in this epic battle for the future of food, first, let's break down the basics. Traditional farming relies on open fields and natural elements, sunlight, rain, and soil. It's been our primary method of food production for centuries, on the other hand, vertical farming flips the script, growing crops indoors in vertically stacked layers, often with artificial light, controlled climates, and soilless methods like hydroponics or aeroponics. When it comes to productivity, vertical farming takes the lead. Why? Because it allows year-round cultivation without relying on weather conditions. A single vertical farm can produce up to 10 times the yield of a similarly sized traditional farm, using advanced technology to maximize plant growth, but, traditional farming still wins when it comes to large-scale staple crops like wheat, rice, and corn, which require vast open spaces. Now let's talk money. Traditional farming has relatively low setup costs, you just need land, tools, and seeds. But operational costs can vary depending on factors like irrigation, pest control, and labor. Vertical farming, on the other hand, has a hefty upfront cost due to advanced technology and infrastructure. Think LED lighting, climate control systems, and specialized equipment. However, once it's running, it can save on water and pesticides while reducing transportation costs for urban areas. When it comes to sustainability, vertical farming shines. It uses up to 95% less water than traditional farming, reduces land usage, and eliminates harmful runoff into water bodies. Plus, vertical farms can be set up in cities, cutting down on transportation emissions. But traditional farming has its own eco-friendly practices, like crop rotation and agroforestry, which work in harmony with nature. It's a balance of modernization versus tradition, so, which one wins? The answer isn't so simple. Vertical farming is perfect for urban areas, tackling space and water shortages while providing fresh produce locally. Traditional farming is still essential for feeding the masses, especially when it comes to staple crops, the future might not be a battle, it could be a partnership. Imagine combining the strengths of both methods for a truly sustainable agricultural future, at the end of the day, both traditional and vertical farming have their roles in feeding the world. By embracing innovation while respecting tradition, we can build a more sustainable and food-secure future, what do you think? Which farming method excites you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into the future of agriculture.